Welcome viewers to another episode of Brave Namibia, where we celebrate both ordinary and extraordinary Namibians. In our first clip today, Yandi Duplessis catches up with art entrepreneur Emmanuel Nkara, who shares more about the projects he's taking on this year. Hello, my name is Emmanuel Inkara and I am an art entrepreneur in Vintuk City in Namibia. The first thing that I am a part of is my own company which is a non-profit organization which is the ENK Public Art Association and we commission, maintain, present and promote public art in Namibia. It's essential for us to introduce public art to Namibia because People are affected by what they see in their city and their towns, in public spaces. So we've analyzed that a lot of cities or a lot of countries utilize the beauty or the rehabilitation nature of art and they have put art into public spaces. So our nonprofit organization wishes to do the same thing. We've completed around 10 murals uh, in Vintuk City at, as it stands. And we wish to create artwork, uh, sculptures, art installations, and even urban design, um, renovating our neglected areas uh, like parks and such uh, in Vintuk City, and of course, in other towns too. So the ENK Public Art Association is uh, an exciting organization that we, uh, we, we can't wait to to, to, to produce in Namibia. Along with that, I am also, I also have a entertainment company, uh, ENK Entertainment Group. And we have two platforms that will change the way we view entertainment in Namibia. Um, as it stands, there is one thing that I can say, which is a Namibian game show that we wish to uh, announce later on in the year, 2023, but it will involve all of you. So please watch out for that. And the other platform on, on, on the entertainment group is a talk show. Uh, a very good friend of mine is very charismatic. He's very, um, he's very funny. So we wish to bring a political satire comedy talk show uh, that will be a consistent um, arena for celebrities to be interviewed, for uh, comedic skits to be uh, uh, portrayed all around Vintuk and hopefully in other towns. So those are the two platforms that ENK Entertainment Group wishes to bring later on this year. Along with that, um, I am also the board member, a board member to the Namibian Arts Association, which we believe is one of the most consistent art associations in Vintuk, uh, in Namibia in fact where we help artists exhibit their artwork um, and help them sell their artwork, along with also helping artists through workshops maintain themselves in a, an art sector that is a little bit up and down, you know. So we offer workshops and art talks that will help artists understand how they can properly finance themselves, how they can package their portfolios. So that's all the Namibian Arts Association wishes to do. And of course, we are, we're here right now uh, having this interview. So it's a great association to, to help the sector grow. Um, another thing that I am interested in or involved in is also being a board member to the, to the National Arts Council of Namibia. Uh, and of course, the Arts Council has helped many artists, uh, many students with bursaries and art organizations with grants and such, such as the COVID relief fund that happened uh, just when COVID hit in 2020. So the Arts Council has always been uh, a great a great uh, organizer of the arts, a great beneficiary to the art sector, and we will continue to do so. And lastly, of course, is Muay Thai. 
Muay Thai is a combat code. It's a sports code uh, registered with the Namibian Sports Co uh, Commission. And Muay Thai is translated to Thai boxing. Um, so it is, it's not MMA, it's not karate, it's not wrestling, it's Muay Thai, so it's stand-up combat. And the Namibian Muay Thai Federation is a newly formed sports code. So we wish to bring Muay Thai to Namibia and really install the values of the sports code because personally, it's helped me grow as a man, it's helped me grow as a person, uh, really stamping the values of tradition, excellence, fair play, respect, uh, and commitment. So it's a sport code, it's a new sport code, it's exciting, and we have so many events to unveil to, to the Namibian public. So my, my passion with art comes from um, a lot of things. It comes from, well, I, I grew up in Cape Town and I stayed, I studied there for many years. And I was never, I was never bored. I was never, I was always fresh. I was always enlightened. And I was wondering what was that thing that helped me uh, explore creativity. And it started with music and then came to the love of acting and film. So when I returned to Namibia, I realized that it's fundamental for our Namibian citizens to engage in art. Um, I began by opening up a shop, a art store in Marua Mall in 2020. Although it was COVID and we did start in the December month, so it was a holiday, we had events like poetry and philosophy. We sold so many paintings. Um, we had movie nights, we had paint and wine. We taught people how to play instruments. So art for me is such a rehabilitator to the mind. And I feel so passionate, I feel so privileged, um, so happy that I'm involved in so many industries, so many organizations that are bringing and innovating our sector into an art industry so that our government officials can trust our art sector as, as it adds to our GDP and just the general feel and, and goodness and well-being of our citizens. To all the artists that are encouraged or thinking about getting into the art sector in Namibia, I encourage you to be steadfast. It is a struggle in the beginning, all things are, and we all know how art is perceived in our country. However, it is my duty, along with the arts, Namibian Arts Association, along with the National Arts Council of Namibia, along with my own entities, to innovate and to really develop the art sector. So we have open doors to any inquiries, to any uh, questions, to any, um, to any forms of art, whether it's film, visual art, um, music. We have, uh, I have a, a good idea of all those sectors. So I encourage anyone to step into the Namibian Arts Association and um, try and really develop themselves because it's all about packaging. We wish to grow our sector so that Namibians become art collectors. But we also want to send our artists to other countries so they can create there, so they can have bigger and brighter opportunities in other countries. And that's very possible. We just need to work together. And um, I foresee the next five years will be so important so that 2030 is, is a Namibia full of art, full of color, and I know we can get it done. Take a load off and tune into another episode of Brave Namibia as we take a look at both ordinary and extraordinary Namibians. Brave Namibia is broadcasted on NTV Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. and oneup2.com as well as broadcasted on the following Facebook platforms on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Republic Hain, Algamina Titan, Namibian Sun, and all Namibia Media Holding pages. For more information, contact the Brave team at brave at synergy.com.na. Brave Namibia for the ordinary and extraordinary Namibians.
Newsprint Namibia is a web offset printing operation that specializes in the printing of newspapers and commercial inserts. We are the leaders in our industry with the highest quality print work and the shortest turnaround time from computer to print and delivery anywhere in the country daily. Newsprint was established mainly as a newspaper print company, but had to diversify its business to do commercial printing as required in the market. We print commercial inserts, previously printed in South Africa, in the shortest possible time. We, as an organization, also started printing workbooks for our education system and will also print textbooks for the Namibian market. For more information, please contact print at newsprint.com. Next, we head to Joel Nambahu and his wife Kanali at Yella Farming. They farm just north of the so-called red line, where they strive to prove that you can farm successfully north of the veterinary cordon fence. They spoke to Alvira Hutton. The message is not the royal end, and the next one, and extend the sound. Chron is chron, but okay, it is chron. So, thank you that you love no, you can't go home and send us good about any willingness, but there are probably on the scene that Alice Moilo in the in the petri and as well contribute at the food basket from the land to. My name is Joel Nambahu, uh, a boor in Peoshivelo. I guess it's after the ruling, so I guess in Vambulan, so I guess after the ruling, been in the ruling, uh, on this, on this, on this, 40 kilos from Chumep, so on doing on the end copies in Chumep, on as on the medicine, on the fertilizers, and all this will cook, cook on the Chumep, on the food, be fit must and acrimac in Chumep, uh, that is on the war on snow, and copies doing in Chumep, I guess, I guess in the ruling. The thing is, so is mango, you must have mango felt it. As he, as he a vambu, uh, a vambu is yes, the muta mango felt it. So, up the in it, but again, my frog has said it, they don't know that in the the half the fund that so what don't know mango had it was a uh, nelpen acht hectare. And those did that get dealing to you. Her can in and say, my egg may can sell it, boom, a plant. And I got her said, ah, boom, as you erase some with boom. She, I guess, erase her to boom to planting me is the hundred and twenty boom and may can't. In uh, haar kan was nog steeds mahangu. Maar met tijd, toen zijn ze ook niet... De volgende jaar, toen zijn ze nog zien, die bomen raak mooi groot. Want ze hebben het ook niet gebeloven. Want het is iets wat je niet ziet in, in, in die in gedeelte van die, van die land waar daar bomen is. Nie. Want ons is ja. gewoon van mahangu. Je moet daar mahangu veld hebben. Ja. En nana, dat was toen in 1920 het ze ook gebesteed niet. Ik zal ook mijn kant ook bomen plan. En ons op die hectare van ons, het was nog goed die 330 bomen. En uh, ons het nog verschillende bomen, ons het nog uh, citrus, ons het uh, papaya's, moerberries, uh, ons het uh, strawberries, ons het uh, guavas. So ons het verschillende van, el ons het elk van elk van elke boom met ons is. So. En ons het al begin, oos, die jaren het ons geoest van die gua guavas, van onze dertig bomen guavas. En ik zie uh, die jaren voor de eerste keer dat onze mango's, ons het worden veertig mooie mango bomen. En die boom heeft ook opgezet. Maar het is een, is een, is een loopband wat kan zijn wat niet makkelijk was. Nie? Uh, want als je kijkt, als je gewoon oor die 300 boom hebt, je hebt niet een irrigation system in nie. Je zal het niet geloven. Nie. Ons op onze landen, op die hectare, keer ons oor die, uh, as ek net moet, oor die 15 tot 20, 200 liter drommel gehad. Wat nog zo uitgedeeld was. So, die mannen, als ze weten, hulle moet morgen nat maken, dan maken hulle al die al die dromen is vol ja. met water vandaag, want dat moet morgen net maar en, en is het elke dag en wat zo bij wat ons gaat beginnen onze 20 liter uh, kannen van die pintblokken, dat 20 liter van die pint, dat we gaan vat en dan dat we manually dat 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 net gaan maken. Ja. Maar met tijd zoals nu zoals ja, zo so, dat was hier een makkelijke ding. Zo so, die overdracht waar we ons zeggen, ik waardeer alle bij waar ons nu vandaag is en waar ons gaat beginnen. En met tijd dat ons gaat groeien, ons het nu Zoals ik zei in de interview van ons, dat gezegd, uh, die government, dat was een kran wat gemaakt was van die government, waar de 60% gee en die boer gee 40%. En toen ons aanzoek gedoen, ons het gekregen, ons het nog gevraagd voor die, 
vir die pepe, en ons het ons eie education system gedoen, en met die help van uh, Chair Education, en die manne van uh, uh, AgriGrow, hulle het AgriGrow, so hulle wat help nie nou met die programme, vir die fertilizers vir die hele jaar, en Chair Education het nou vir my gehelp, met die hele setup van die pepe en alle goed, so het is al loopbaan, wat ek nie alleen geloop het nie, daar is paar maskapie wat ons gehelp het, en wat soms nog gaan het ons sê, maar soos jy weet, boom en vat, 3 tot 5 jare, om, om vrug op te sit, dus ons sê nou, wat doen ons nou in die 5 meter spasies wat ons het? Ons kan dit ons nie so los nie. Ja. So ons besluit, kom ons plant uh, uh, groende. Ja. So, toe begin ons groende plant. So, jy wil ons nou by die boom en wacht, het ons nou groende geplant, wat nie, uh, uh, that doesn't harm our, our roots of our trees. So, that's why we, we opted to plant trees, uh, veggies like uh, beetroot, onions, um, sunflower, watlemoene, uh, uh, oats, ons het ook paar oats geplant, ons poinkies, plant ons tussen die bome, so dit is wat ons doen, en uh, soos ons moet sê, uh, dit help ons nou, ons het nou, dit is een voedsel, uh, gedrinde die drie of vijf jaar wat ons wacht, ons het bome om, om vrug op te sit. Ons boer ook met hoeners, ek doen, ek, ek doen skou hoeners, uh, ek doen skou hoeners, ek doen skou duiven, uh, is, is iets wat ek, uh, wat best naks vir my gevang het, uh, my seens speel um, inline hockey. Hulle speel inline hockey by badges, en badges het uitheid geoefend by, by die uh, showgrounds. Ja. Maar een dag toe sê, hulle, hulle, hulle maak onze saal, hulle breek onze saal waar ons oefen, ja. want daar is een skool vir hoeners en duive. En een ander sê, ek gaan kijk hoe wat is die wat die so aangaan. Toe ek daar kom, ek sê, doe het, ek het allemaal omgevang, kan na mens verskillende duive soos die sien. Je kan dit die glo nie, vir een wamboekie wat net uh, Marathon wamboek hoener ken, het nou die different breeds gekregen. Daar het my liefde vir hoener en duiver gevang. En vandaar af het ek nie teruggekeek nie, ek het met die boere begin plaat, my eerste hoener en duiver het ek gerei Aranos toe. Aranos toe, en dit goed te gaan koop. Nee. En dit was by, uh, wat was die boerse naam, um, ek het ons die naam vergeet, maar as ek ontvang, sal ek net sê, ja. uh, hy was my eerste boer in Aranos, wat vir my my duive en my hoeners gegee het. En daarna het ek nog gebegin met, um, met ander boere ook, maar die ou wat my alle heb, is uh, Gerard Jobet, hy is ons, en ek het, hy is een klap ook gejoin, ek het baie, ek leer baie van hulle, van die associatie van die, van die, van die skou hoeners en duive. So, het is een goeie ding, en hulle is ook so blij, dat daar een ou in, in die noorde is van die land, wat school David doen, en dit en dit, en is hulle die geloof, as mense by my is kom, en hulle sien hierdie goed, die skole wat by my kom keer, is a wafekta, want die kinders ken hierdie goed nie, en ek is so blij, ek en my vrou, dat ons dit vir die kinders wees, van ek, ek kan, ons het, jy kan, jy krijs ook die duive, jy krijs ook die hoeners, jy krijs vruchte bome, jy krijs verskillende uh, bokke, want ons het, ons het boerbokke, dat is ook uh, daaf goud, die doorge bokkies, ja. uh, wat hulle ook gaan sien, wat is verskillende, daar is verskillende uh, skappe wat daar is, so, en die goed is so mak, so die kinders kan hulle aanraak, en alle goed, so, is, die environment is meer, soos, a huis gebegin, maar nou, kan jy dit die geloof, ons het is so gemak, dat dit so weer, soos a educational uh, plek is, al die kerswisse, hier in ons jywelo, Agribank, MSD, al die ouwense, uh, Agirgro wil nou uh, a kerswis maak vir, uh, vir plantasie, hulle wil kyk of hulle dit nie so op my kan hoog vir die boere van die noorde nie, ja, wat, so dat, dat is iets wat my baie interessant maak en blij maak as een boer, as jy sien, jy maak een verskil in die lewe van die land, in die lewe van die ander boere, en in die lewe van jou, in jou, in jou, in jou eie lewe ook. En ek is, ek is altijd maandag tot en donderdag, is ek altijd in Windhoek, uh, ek is, uh, my, ek is a quantity surveyor, maar meer in construction, as ek geweet het, uh, my beroep, die beroep wat ek nou doen, uh, deel steed, sal ek, uh, sal ek, ek het katje geleer het, want ek denk, ek sien my liefde, en my, is my, my liefde is meer om dit, om te sien, dat jy, as saad lewe gee, dat jy, uh, dat dieren, wat vijf was, wat meer raak, die probleem wat jy kry, as een boer, en ook, alles wat jy doen as een boer, as ek gewede die beroep, van die begin af, sal ek dit gedoen op school, maar, ongelukkig, somtijd, sien jy net die beroep te, soms dit wat jy lief het, sien jy net met tijd soos jy groot raak. Dit, dit, dit is een ding, as jy as jy as jy as boer wil wees, dan moet jy nader aan jy goed wees, van hulle sê, wat sê die boere? 
fair for you put me as cutter, no? So it's always that belief that at least the guys must know that you are supporting them and you are together with your guys every week. And it's a deal that they do. Some day come play with you, but it's all the lift as you always have seen the ANR is involved in all the work. And this is very important as you the man knows that you work live in this summit. And they are also strong and they are also ready to work harder. Your wife is working with you. Ja, sy, sy, sy werk by Studio Window, sy is by die HR uh, department, maar sy is nie so vrees soos ek nie, want ek, ek werk nie vir iemand nie, uh, ek is uh, entrepreneur, ek werk vir myself, so ek kan al die besluit nie maak wanneer kan ek hier na toe kom, so, soos nou sit ek hier nou, sy kom tenminste een keer of twee keer in die maand, kom sy al die misam, sy is al die verlof en vir, vir die vrijdag, daar rey ons al die donderdag namiddag, as sy, as, sy, as sy van die werk afkom, maar sy is baie lief en Sy kan nie wacht om vol tyd te wees nie. Um, jong man, wat wil begin boer? Wat sal jou raad wees aan hom? Moe nie bang wees nie. Begin klein. En eh, luister. Baie belangrijk. Om te luister. En moe nie van een persoon af luister. Keier boere. Dat is baie belangrijk. Ek, as ek rei, ek maak seker dat ek een boer in die pad keier om net te gaan leer, wat doen jy, hoe doen jy dit, hoe doen jy dit, die enigste manier hoe jy gaan leer, is om aan die boere te, te keier, sit daar vir die dag, wees met hulle, leer wat hulle doen, en as jy begin, begin klein, begin uit jou sakkie, en moet nie gaan leer nie, want jy weet jy, of jy het jy, of jy het jy, uh, of jy het, is het jou beroep wat jy wil volgen, nog alleen jy het 2 miljoen, Na jaars nie nie, man, dit is ding is ons toch moeilijk, ek kan dit dit doen nie. Dan het jy 2 miljoen geleen, dit dit het gewerkt nie, nou moet jy 2 miljoen afbetaal in jou sakke, terwijl die plaas jou moet geld het om die 2 miljoen af te betaal. Moe nie met leen geld begin nie, begin klein, as jy sien die passie, die dreef, dan gaan jy gaan en sê, mense, ek het gebegin, kijk jy so, ek het tot, tot, ek het 50 bok, ek het op 50 bees, ek het al geplan, jy kan kom kyk, maar ek wil nog groot gaan, want ek het, ek het die pussy en die, en die liefde. So, is af wat ek sê, begin small, en begin van jou sak af, moet nie geld gaan leen, van die begin af, jy nie seker is, dit is wat jy wil doen. Omdat nou Piet Pompies nou een plaas het, wat jy ook een plaas het, dit werk jy soon. prevent violence against women before it happens. It means tackling the root causes of violence, working with men and boys to end power over women, which is often normalized and justified. Transforming these root causes and preventing violence needs political commitment and leadership, laws and policies that promote gender equality, investments in women's organizations and resources for prevention work. But prevention also starts with you. You can start by educating yourself. Speak out when you get a chance. Advocate for survivors' rights and always listen to survivors. Preventing violence against women and girls before it actually happens is the most effective way of ending it. So let's start now. The Regional Review brings you news, views, and interviews from NMH correspondents from across the country. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact regional at synergy.com.na. Thank you for tuning in today. If you know of someone you feel can feature on our show, please contact us at brave at synergy.com.na.